good evening dear students in this video session let us learn how to modify uh, the tapered bar into a stepped bar let us consider this uh, tapered bar varying in uh, area 1000 mm square to 500 mm square area before solving this tapered bar to determine the unknown node displacement stresses in each element and the support reactions using finite element method um uh, first uh, let us modify this tapered bar into uh, a stepped bar now i'll uh, i'll modify this tapered bar into two equal parts there is two steps step 1 and step 2 and each step of uh, same length 187.5 mm that is 375 mm divided by 2 okay now consider this step 1 the left side area is 1000 mm square which is given and the right side of this step 1 is the average area of left area and right side area that is 1000 plus 500 divided by 2 the average area will become 750 mm square that is the area of this mid section of the tapered bar will become 750 mm square now right side area as usual 500 mm square which is given now this is if you consider this step 1 the area of this average area of this step 1 is the area of the element 1 that is 1000 plus the area of this mid section that is 750 the average area of these two will become 1000 plus 750 by 2 875 mm square that i have shown here 875 mm square is the area of the step 1 in a stepped bar next area of the step 2 will be area of the step 2 that is element 2 will be area of the mid section average area of the mid section of the bar and the right side area 500 mm square that is 750 plus 500 by 2 we will get 625 mm square uh, that is i have shown for the step 2 the area is 625 mm square likewise uh, this is how uh, we have uh, modified this tapered bar into a uh, stepped bar by considering the average area now here 875 mm square is the area of the element 1 and 625 mm square is the area of the element 2 and this is uh, the load which is applied on the right end of the this tapered bar that is 1 kN here i wrote 1000 newton uh, once you modify this tapered bar into a stepped bar let us consider this stepped bar to solve for the unknown nodal displacements stresses in each element and the support reactions as uh, explained in the previous uh videos if you consider if you discretize this uh, stepped bar uh, will have two elements and three nodes let after that uh, generate the stiffness matrices for both the elements k1 k2 assemble these two matrices and get the global stiffness matrix of the order 3 cross 3 then uh, write the global equilibrium equation ku is equal to f as explained and next uh, uh, solve the equations by applying elimination approach Uh, so that we will get u1 u2 and uh, u3 values and uh, uh, compute compute the stresses in each element by using hooke's law and the support reactions using elimination approach as explained in the previous videos okay this is how uh, we can modify the tapered bar into a stepped bar uh, next uh, we'll more i will consider one more example so that you will understand uh, better let us consider one more this is the tapered bar here the second problem here in this you can observe this tapered bar is varying in width not area varying in width from 60 mm from uh, 60 mm to 30 mm 60 mm to 30 mm width now here again uh, modify this uh, tapered bar into two steps step 1 and step 2 okay now we got here the since the step 1 the top uh, width given is 60 mm and the mid section of the tapered bar the average width we should consider that is 60 mm plus 30 mm divided by 2 that will give you 45 mm here also the mid section of the a uh, tapered bar in the step 2 45 mm average width and uh, this is the bottom end that is 30 mm width which is already 
given. How we got this average width 45 mm? Uh, let us take an, uh, let us uh, prove it. Uh, if I consider this as a right angled triangle, tan alpha will give you opposite side divided by adjacent side. Opposite is if this is 60 mm, now here 30 mm it is given, then uh, this uh, dimension will become 15 mm and 15 mm. Now, therefore, this dimension will be 15 mm that is the opposite side, and the adjacent side will be the length of this tapered bar that is 240 mm given and stan alpha is equal to opposite by adjacent 15 by 240 we will get alpha is equal to 3.57 degrees. Now next uh, I want to know uh, for the at the mid section of the tapered bar what is the width. Uh, for that I will consider only this right angle triangle. If you consider this right, right angle triangle tan alpha is equal to that alpha already we have calculated 3.57 tan 3.57 is equal to uh, let us say this distance as x, x opposite side divided by adjacent side uh, we should consider only uh, this much length that is half of this uh, length that is 120 x by 120 so that after calculation we will get x is equal to 7.5 mm uh, this dimension you will get 7.5 mm hence the width will be uh, 30 mm plus 7.5 plus 7.5 will give you 45 mm. That is why we are uh, considering the average uh, width that is 45 mm. You can take average area also here the in this case width is given. Now as we know now consider this step 1 average width will be 60 mm plus 45 mm divided by 2. 65, 60 plus 45 mm divided by 2 average width you will get 52.5 mm. For the step 2 for the step 2 the average width will be 45 plus 30 by 2 37.5 mm ok now this is the width now what is the area area you will get uh, the thickness of the tapered bar is given that is 1 mm here hence the area of the element 1 will be area a1 is equal to width into thickness 52.5 into 1 you will get 52.5 mm square and next for the second step second element uh, the area of the element 2 will be width into thickness 37.5 into thickness 1 you will get 37.5 mm square. So that this is how uh, this uh, tapered bar is modified into a stepped bar having two elements element 1 52.5 mm square area element 2 37.5 mm square area of lengths 120 mm each uh, the same uh, uh, after that. Uh, this step, stepped bar is considered to determine the unknown nodal displacement stresses in each element and the support reactions by using elimination approach as explained in the uh, previous videos. I hope you have understood how to modify this stepped bar into a uh, stepped bar. Okay, Thank you. Take care. Stay safe and stay healthy.